God had put me there, my wife and I, among people who were just chronic thieves. And we were fussing with them, and they said, Tuan, you're always angry. I said to them, hey, I could be a real good missionary if it wasn't for you people. The people you fight with, you'll never be able to win for Christ. Finally, I died to this thing. And I, I'm, I'm not fighting anymore. And this, this is when Haimo, a very intelligent fellow, said, Tuan, you've become a Christian, haven't you? You get so much more done, folks, by surrendering and rejoicing than by pleading and begging. Surrender and rejoice and let God have his way. We were in the bomb shelter back behind our house, and there they had the cannons set up to shoot the planes, so they were shooting over our houses. I grew up, fear was my greatest problem. My father said, you'll never amount to anything. You are hopeless. I thought, I don't want to go to my dad and not have these people want to Christ. I'd rather die. Early one morning, with a, uh, there was a group of men came and they kidnapped me, they grabbed me and they hustled me out of that village. These guys were good thieves. They knew how to steal. They stole those pineapples. I never got a one out of that whole first crop. And he held that machete up to my neck, you know, and I thought I can't move because that thing, he keeps it sharp. And he says, one of these days, we're gonna cut your head off. 